Now keep in mind that you can use a text component and you can also use CSS on top of it at the local area and you can always use CSS at a report level and we'll see all these things a little bit later. For now let's just work with this which is right about here. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, so this is how it is. So as you can see that this specific text is not centered in the text area right so we want to center it in the text area so let's come here and let's see if there's an option for that so I don't see an option here let's check out the styles so these are the styles here and then you have the heading different heading styles you can use for example three two so these are the different heading styles you can use okay now of course I can I can reduce the size here like this for example let's say I can do this and then I can simply drag it here so that's one way of doing it it's up to you but another way of doing it is to actually use CSS so let's go and do that so let's bring a text here okay so right about here let's drop it right about here and let's expand it to see where it is so we need it here somewhere here you can always see the size of the container here so for example 1798 so roughly you know you need to be in the center so that's how you can actually kind of get in perspective as to where the middle is okay so right about here is fine so i'm going to expand it a little bit from the left and a little bit from the right so there you go and then just to match it okay we are okay now so you can make those final adjustments by using your properties panel to change the reference point and to make the final adjustments okay now what we're going to do is we're going to write here as you can see here the sample text is right about here so this is where you're going to write what you want to write so i'm going to say order analysis so that's what we want to write so i'm going to say enter so now you can see it says order analysis now obviously it looks a little bit odd right on the top so now you're going to use css actually to do that so let's open the css here and we're going to add a few things First, we're going to add font size. So let's do that. We need 18 pixel font size. Font family is not mandatory as we already have a font style. If you like, you can. Most important here is going to be text align. So let's say OK now and let's see if this works actually. We do see that it has a font which is now 18 pixels but the text is not centered. So let's open and see what's happening. So I can see a mistake here which is a spelling mistake. Now it should be OK. So there you go. Now the text is in center. So you can make those final adjustments and bring it to the middle. So there's of course a CSS property to do this as well. We can bring it right in the middle. So this is just to give you an idea. Okay, so much for the panel component and let's see how it looks like. It looks very nice and very clean as you can see now. Perfect. So let's take a look at the final properties just before running it. So you can always click here and we can take a look at the properties so this is the width i want the width to be auto so it can take the entire screen when we actually test it okay let's go ahead and test it save your work of course and then hit run locally so it's going to bring up what we did so there you go so you have a panel of course you can't see the panel panel is a grid component to give you a perspective of a grid where you can place things in a referenced way and you can control 
the look and feel of the components inside your panel great there you go you have a image you have text now you can give border you can give a different color to the background and all of these things are possible perfect great so we're ready for the next steps i'll see you in the next video